Okay, rainy day, so we're working on the EFI Slant 6. Uh, one of the things I wondered about when I got this done was I have a GM 4 bar map sensor, and when I typed in the parameters, uh, when you calibrate up here, um, when I calibrated the map sensor with the, like the numbers it gave me, right off the bat, it read like 120 kPa key on engine not running, which it should run close to 100. If I look up my weather and it says 100 or whatever is the barometric pressure today, so that gives you my, my baseline what it should be not running. Uh, so I messed with the numbers a bit until I got it to read basically 100. And after that, I was always unsure of what it would be. It's funny because I even unhooked my boost gauge and put on a standard, what we used to use on carbureted cars and stuff for reading pressure or whatever. And so what I did is I made with a Schrader valve, a T-block, and a barred fitting, and a KPA pressure gauge. I hooked up to a little bicycle pump so I could actually charge the system, my, my vacuum boost system, manually so map sensors are all linear I, I say all of them so really if you know two points then you can know how to set it so engine off keyed on that's where i want it so i know that point so if i can charge the system up to say 10 psi and this matches this gauge then i know i'm right uh, if not i can alter the upper limit to suit as long as keyed off comes to that and if I charge to six, eight, ten pounds that it shows that then the linear graph is the same. So if I power it on and one nice thing about Tuner Studio is it'll, if I give this a little shot here when because my boost my pressure the pump leaks down a little bit it'll show me what the peak was so that's kind of handy so i'll see if i can do this showing this gauge because it's a little easier to read so if i go like this and see i touch seven pounds then i come to here it, it just barely over seven pounds which me jumping it like that is about accurate so there now i know it's calibrated uh, if that had shown it went clear to 10 or only to 6 or 5, whatever, I could adjust my upper reading. Like you're usually they're set for 0 and 5 volts. I could adjust my upper one so that it reads it and then adjust my lower to bring this back down to 100. Anyway, don't know if that made any sense, but uh, that's the way I did it and it seems to work right.